Hi friends, good morning. Let us see this problem. A train after traveling 150 kilometers meets with an accident and then proceeds at 3 by 5 of its former speed and arrives destination 8 hours late. Had the accident occurred 360 kilometers further, it would have reached the destination just 4 hours late. Then what is the distance traveled by the train? See in the first case, in the first case, if the accident occurred, this is case 1, this is case 1. In case 1, if the accident, this is starting point and this is the destination. If the accident occurred after 150 kilometers, it reaches, it reaches 8 hours late. It reaches 8 hours late. In the second case, in case 2, if the accident occurred after 360 kilometers more, this is 150 kilometers. If the accident occurred after 360 kilometers more, it is late by, it is late by just 4 hours, just 4 hours. That means, that means, in the second case, in the second case, it gained 4 hours, it gained 4 hours. Earlier it was late by 8 hours, earlier it was late by 8 hours. Now it is late by only 4 hours. So it gained 8 minus 4, 4 hours. So it gained 4 hours means, it gained 4 hours means the time difference, the time difference to travel this 360 kilometers with original speed and reduced speed is equal to 4 hours. So now first let us find the speed of the train. Let us find the speed of the train. So let us say the speed of the train, speed of the train is equal to x. Now the time difference, now the time difference to travel this 360 kilometers with the original speed and reduced speed is equal to 4 hours, 8 minus 4, 4 hours. So the time taken to travel with the original speed, this 360 kilometers, time taken to travel this 360 kilometers with the original speed, 360, now reduced speed, 3 by 5 of x. With the time taken to travel with reduced speed, this is equal to 8 minus 4, 4 hours. 3, 120 is 120 into 5, 600 by x minus 360 by x is equal to 4 hours. 240 by x is equal to 4 hours. So, for once, for 60 is Therefore, x is equal to 60 kmp. x is equal to 60 kmp. So, the speed of the train is 60 kmph. Now, let us find the distance. See, let us say the total time taken. Let us say the total time taken to travel the distance with the normal speed, with the original speed, say t hours. Now, the total distance, velocity into time. This is the total time taken <coughs> t hours this is equal to this is equal to see if the accident occurred after 150 kilometers the train travel 150 kilometers with the normal speed 150 kilometers and the remaining distance and the remaining distance with the reduced speed what is the reduced speed 3 by 5 into 60 that is equal to 36 kmph so the train the remaining distance the train traveled with 36 kmph so remaining distance is equal to velocity into time how many hours how many hours the train traveled with reduced speed see total t hours minus this 150 kilometers traveled in 2.5 hours 150 by 60 minus 2.5 Plus the train is late by 8 hours. So the train travel 8 hours more. So with reduced speed. So 60t is equal to 150 plus 36 into 8 minus 5, 2.5, 5.5. T plus 5.5. 60t is equal to 150 plus 36t plus 
Okay, friends. Thank you. Have a nice day.